about Christmas, which I've already talked a bit about in my past videos on comparing to others and restriction around holidays, but I'm going to talk about it again this time and really specifically to Christmas time. This year for me personally will be a lot different to last year because I'm actually excited about Christmas this year, which is crazy. Last year I was really sick and I honestly don't even remember what happened. Just sort of a blur of anxiety. And so I was thinking, I think there are a few, a few challenges in particular that come up at Christmas time. And one of them is just eating more. The food is a really big part of Christmas and so you might feel anxious about eating more. I definitely, last year I definitely felt anxious about eating more than I would usually and because of that gaining weight. And I, I don't think I can reiterate this enough times that it's absolutely okay to eat more. Even if you're not hungry, like you don't, like joining in for the social aspect of food is also extremely important. And if eating more means that you gain weight, that's okay too. Your weight is not going to stay the same all the time, throughout the day, throughout your life. Your weight won't and it shouldn't stay the same. Simply like things like water, food intake, muscle, fat, that's gonna, you know, that changes, your weight fluctuates and that's totally normal. If you're trying to keep your weight at a certain number, please stop. <laughs> I know what that's like, I've been there myself and, oh, it's torture, torture that you don't have to, you don't have to go through. So if you're weighing yourself on a scale, throw it out, please stop weighing yourself. If you can't bring yourself to throw it out, give it to someone else who can hide it away from you. And just allow yourself to have that. Okay, there are so many planes going overhead right now. Anyway, just allow yourself to have that peace of mind of not knowing your weight, not not checking your weight all the time to make sure that you're staying at this this particular number won't bring you any joy and you you don't need to do it and the other part, big part of this is that you if you gain weight maybe your body needed it you know eating more at christmas and gaining weight could be a really great thing for you it's amazing how just a, like a little bit of weight gain can give you a huge amount of mental freedom like even if your weight restored your and in your set point at your set point remember that your set point is actually a range so you know at Christmas time eating more it you might you might gain a little and be at, at the higher end of your set point range other times you might be a little lower end like as I said, your weight fluctuates and that's just how, how, how our bodies work. Honestly, nothing is likely to change from a day or a few days or a week of eating more than, than you normally would. And I know this from trying really hard to gain weight and it, it takes a lot of food over a consistent period of time. But I don't want that to be the focus of this video because, yeah. Eating more is absolutely fine. Gaining weight is absolutely fine too. Aside from eating more, of course, at Christmas we often eat different foods. So I think I'm going to be having a lot of Christmas mince pies and Christmas pudding with cream and mushroom pies. I like pastry a lot, you might be able to tell. Lots of really tasty food and that can also be really scary but the one the phrase that really helps me all the time is from Mexi Recovery and that's to live the life that you ultimately want to live so even if it's really hard in the moment it's never gonna get easier until you actually do it and 
you know, you could look at Christmas as a really great opportunity to really challenge your eating disorder and really put up a fight. We grow from discomfort, so try to embrace that. And I know that's really hard and much easier said than done, but you only live once and life is too short to miss out on the delicious foods because you're trying to keep your weight below a certain point. To, like restriction is never going to bring you happiness but eating delicious food, joining in, that's how that's how memories are made. Yeah it sounds cliche to say that but honestly eating disorders are really isolating and having to separate yourself and eat different meals or turn down the, the mince pies all the time it, it feels really sucky but what feels good is saying yes the anxiety that you're feeling it will pass all your feelings they're temporary and I know that when I challenge myself in the moment it's really hard yeah I'll eat something that's challenging to me and then I'll just I'll feel awful I want to cry I, I might actually cry those thoughts the feelings they pass and I think depending on where you're at in your recovery they will take either longer or shorter to pass so like by the next meal you might feel fine or it might be by the next day or after a few days you'll feel okay and you'll be really proud of yourself that you conquered your fear and you'll be a step closer to overcoming your fear of that food or that action so tr try try your best to join in another thing that i found difficult about christmas is it's a family gathering we eat all our meals together and so there's that sense of comparison like oh my sister is only eating that much or my nan my nana like i remember this used to be a huge deal for me like how much my grandma is eating and she's 85 she doesn't need to eat as much as a 23 year old woman in recovery like obviously not but my eating disorder would pounce on that and all I have to say to that now is that different bodies have different needs and what other people eat has no bearing on what my body needs so doesn't matter what other people are doing I know that I need to eat a lot so I'm gonna eat a lot go back for seconds if you want seconds my eating disorder tells me that people are judging me but honestly they're not they don't care and if anything if they know that you're in recovery they'll be happy that you're going back for more comments from others can be really challenging as well comment like Ugh. Yeah. I've had so many like it's no one's business people shouldn't comment on weight but they do yeah I've had a lot of comments uh, telling from people just telling me that I've gained weight when obviously I already know that like you don't need to point it out but people do or you look so well which I guess is is it better? I don't know. I, I get annoyed because physical appearance doesn't dictate if someone is how well someone is and anorexia is a mental illness so some people you know some people won't even be underweight and their illnesses if you're one of those people your illnesses are still valid so yeah that that really pisses me off. So when people say things to me like oh you gained weight I just I just think yeah I did and so what <laughs> much more importantly I gained my life back I'm happy now and healthy and gaining weight enables me to be present in conversation it enables me to enjoy sitting outside in my garden and feel gratitude for this beautiful environment that I'm in and enables me to 
dance and have energy and sing and read and oh, so much more than just how my body looks. Finally, the other comments that have really got to me in the past are the little diet culture comments like oh I really shouldn't eat this or I'm being so good today I haven't had any sweets or the diet starts tomorrow and like now when I hear those comments I just feel really sad for them like for how diet culture has influenced people like even people without eating disorders feel guilty to some extent for eating and that just that just sucks and I think one of the best parts of recovery is actually coming out the other side and having a better relationship with food than most of the people that I know so sometimes I'll challenge people on their diet culture statement and sometimes I won't I think it it really depends at Christmas like on Christmas Day I, I'm probably less likely to because you know Christmas can be tense with lots of family I will likely be a bit anxious myself and I don't really want to make that worse for myself so I'm more likely to just try to ignore their comments and focus on what I'm doing be grateful that I and therefore have educated myself and been educated by others on how awful diet culture is and how it's just a load of crap. Yeah, so I think that's basically all I wanted to say about Christmas and I feel like this video is getting really long. So I'm trying to look at Christmas as an opportunity to just keep sticking it to my eating disorder and Every year that I do that, Christmas will become a little bit easier, and I, I'm, I know that that's true because oh, this year is already so much better than last year. Anyway, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you do have a nice Christmas if you can, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a day off from work and enjoy that. I'll record again next week, if not before. Please let me know what you think, comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, apart from that, bye!